Hey guys, Hamsterbo here and it's finally time. The vanilla private server that had a lot of hype around it is finally released. Yes, I'm talking about Project Everlook. Now when this private server was announced, it was when vanilla in general was in a bit of a slump. And I don't just mean Blizzard's own Season of Mastery version of it, I mean vanilla for both Blizzard and for private servers. So basically this project was announced at the right moment and it was within no time at all that their Discord server had over 2000 members. And literally one or two days later they tripled that number. So yes, the hype and interest for this project was very, very high. Unfortunately it would take a while for things to be announced, but after months of waiting, it's finally here. So luckily I had a little bit of time to pop in during the evening it launched, but unfortunately I was stuck at the login screen getting disconnected over and over again. So I stepped away from the computer and after two and a half hours I tried again and bam, I was in. And man was I ever excited to see just how many people were playing. And well as you can see in the footage right here, the starting zones are completely packed with players. I did a quick slash who and it revealed about 5000 players online. Not too bad, but you have to realize that this was released on a Friday at 6pm European Standard Time. Which means that most American players would probably still be at work and give it a go later on. So when I was able to log in, the server stability was actually quite smooth. And the recent stress test they did showed a server that is very capable of having thousands of players in one spot. I watched a video from Azimus and I couldn't believe how smooth he could play the game. Which really makes you wonder why a small group of literally a few people can do it better than a multi-billion dollar company. Anyway, I digress. Everlook has launched and this really seems like a great opportunity for vanilla to be resurrected. Vanilla without sharding, layering and proper world PvP without constant lag. Or at least, that's the idea. Whether Everlook will be successful, only time will tell, so for now I wish the people of Everlook all the best and I hope for everyone's sake the server will have a good and steady population throughout its lifetime. This really is a chance to show Blizzard that there is an interest in a more raw and real vanilla without a whole bunch of band-aids like sharding and layering. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll leave a link in the description if you're curious about this private server and as always I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm Hamster Wheel and have a good one.